Good morning, everyone. Um, welcome back to the channel. My name is John. Uh, usually what we do on this channel is uh, to look for a discounted price, sales, promotions, um, and on and off, I'll do like an unbox. Um, and then sometimes I do maintenance on my own vehicle. Um, but in this video, um, I want to talk about the, uh, uh, to see if we can use the uh, Sprint SIM and uh, T-Mobile SIM in the uh, iPad Pro that I just bought. So I have T-Mobile uh, and I also have Sprint uh, as my cell phone provider. And uh, uh, with, uh, you, you, I'm not sure if you guys know, but uh, aware of this, but T-Mobile bought out Sprint. And now they're trying to convert all of the uh, customer with uh, uh, Sprint SIMs into uh, T-Mobile SIMs. And um, I did the same thing as well. So uh, there's both T-Mobile SIMs. And even though uh, uh, one of the uh, SIM is uh, actually a Sprint account. So we're gonna test it. And uh, uh, both of them have like unlimited data uh, talk text uh, as well for the Sprint. I have the Kickstarter, uh, which I pay about $15 a month. And uh, actually this one, it's uh, my wife is $15 a month, but the one that I have is uh, when they had a promotion where like a uh, free line on us. Um, I got it, I think maybe about a year ago. Uh, and all I have to pay is just the taxes. However, the tax is about $8. Uh, I think $5 or uh, service fees or some administrative fee or something and the rest of them just go to state and um, federal taxes um, and the other one is t-mobile and uh, right now the service wise uh, if you were to ask me between sprint and uh, t-mobile uh, before sprint was really bad in my area uh, however when i did the uh, transition to uh, tnx basically just uh, trying out the t-mobile experience it's pretty much using the T-Mobile network. So now uh, I have my iPhone 12 Pro Max. Uh, but uh, we're going to take a look at the, uh, to see if the SIM work on the iPad. Okay. So let's try it on first. I'm going to take you guys around. So right now it's on the Wi-Fi. So let me just turn off the Wi-Fi. Okay. All right, so we're going to flip you guys around. Put it on, where is it? Okay. So right now, I don't know if you guys noticed on the top corner over here, it says LTE. All right, so wait, go back and forth. And we can actually try to do a, hmm, no more. Okay, it's back on. Uh, where's the speed test? I got the speed test somewhere, oh, here it is. So we're gonna take a look at the speed test. I believe this is uh, my T-Mobile account. Sometimes in certain area, I get like over a hundred. Okay, but here I'm in my house, uh, 39 download speed and about like 18 to 20 upload speed. Which is not bad at all. Okay, so it does work. So let's say we can go to, no, not that one, go here. Uh, we can go to Yahoo, go to Yahoo, everything's working fine. Okay, so uh, it does work in an iPad with the T-Mobile SIM. Okay, so I'm gonna put you down, I'm gonna try with my Sprint SIM and see if it does the same thing. Because, uh, for a Sprint, Sprint SIM, I know when I buy like new phones, 
it doesn't uh, I would have to call call in for for them to activate the phone or I would have to go online okay so this is a little bit different okay so earlier it has like a little phone it has a arrow to the right of it now it's just switching yeah it still does now it shows up now so I don't know if you guys know it'll see it over here there you go as I got All right, so, nah, nothing. Hmm. So maybe the Sprint SIM will not work in an iPad. Oh. We don't see anything. You said that you have not signed up for a data plan. What? No, 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 no. no. It says something for not now. So. It doesn't work. Let's try that again. Let's see if we can activate it. So you can search for the LTE network cell phone. No, it doesn't work. All right, so as you guys can see, even though I think like right now T-Mobile has not completely um, converted all of the uh, or uh, Sprint customers into T-Mobile or using the same system. So even though with there are like one company, but they're actually still two companies. So Sprint system and T-Mobile system. So I just placed the uh, my Sprint SIM back into the phone and it actually the download speed is a lot uh maybe not a lot but like it's 59.1 down and 22.6 up uh compared to like 38 and 23 so and the sim it only worked in the uh the phone you cannot take it out switch it in and out um because i know i know that beforehand when i bought the uh the different phones uh with other with other i think with with verizon T-Mobile, there's no issue with uh, switching SIMs and then into a phone or iPad and it'll work. But with Sprint specifically, you have two options. Either you uh, you chat through uh, online or you call the number uh, or you can even do like a self activations, which I've did a couple of times. And uh, and that's how you get your phone activated on the, on the, uh, the SIM activated on the phone. So in this case, uh, you can see I put back the T-Mobile SIM into the iPad, it's working. Uh, and also this one here, it's also working as well. Okay, so this is, I'm using uh, Sprint uh, T-Mobile Sims Sprint account on T-Mobile Tau. I don't know if that makes sense, but uh, that's pretty much it. So if you guys have any questions about uh, uh, T-Mobile Sims, Sprint Sims, data, uh, just leave it in the comment below. But uh, other than that, take care. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next video.